In today's video, we're gonna be going head to head with these two stick vacuums. I have this one right here from Dyson. I've owned this one for a while. And this one's new to me, this is from Ryobi. So we're gonna be testing them out so you can see which one's right for you. Let's go. All right, we're gonna start getting a close look at the Dyson first. So this one I picked up from Best Buy. I'm gonna put the price down below. So one of the things with this, it was much cheaper than some of their high-end ones. It has the hair removal veins you can see right there. See when I, So when I turn it on, you can see it's on medium. So if I switch over to eco, that's slow. If I go to high, listen to this. So, this is what I've experienced, and I haven't really read the reviews, but when I run this on high, it doesn't take long for this thing to clog up, and then you have to take it all apart, remove these filters, they get pretty dirty pretty quick, and then maintain it. So if I run it on medium, so if I run this on medium, then it seems to work really well, and it's the least amount of maintenance. And then the other thing to point out with this, I only have the one battery, so I have a wall mount for this that it plugs into, and I think I get about 35 minutes of runtime with it. So that's enough, like each time I want to use it. But if I want to do some extra work, then I don't have spare batteries for this like I would the Ryobi one. All right, so this is the Ryobi one. It's the OnePlus HP cordless 18 volt advanced stick vacuum kit, Whisper Series 719. So this one has two levels of cleaning. So you have this brush right here, and then you have this bar right here that has those flappers and then that brush as well too. So you can just see as I'm turning it, you really get double the amount of coverage of the cleanup. So we're gonna test it out so you'll see how that performs. And I'm realizing I didn't show you the bottom side of the Dyson, so that's that. So you can just see how those two compare against each other. So since the Ryobi one's new to me, I have the box still. So you can see this has a brushless motor, advanced electronics, high performance lithium technology, one liter dust cup capacity, LED light. It also has tool free removal, dual roller bars. So you can take those out without tools. You just twist those. And it has the wrap defense, which minimizes the hair wrap. So let's take a look at the runtime. So on the box right here, that number got scratched out. I believe that's the four amp hour. So I'm gonna probably run this mostly on medium, once in a while on high. So on medium, I'm gonna get 22 minutes of runtime with a four amp hour battery. If I go up to the six amp hour battery, on medium, I'll get 33 minutes. So a lot of times, even like the Dyson, when you put that on high, you're not gonna get much time. So you just, once in a while, just kick it on high when you need it. But for the most part, I think you're gonna probably be hanging out in that medium mode right there. So as I mentioned, the Whisper Series, the quietest Ryobi vacuum right there. And another thing that's really nice about this compared to all the other Dysons, it has a self-standing design. So sometimes I'll take the Dyson, try to lean it up against the wall, and it has fallen over a few times because it just tends to roll on you and it just doesn't stand up. And that's one of the things I really like about the Ryobi right away is that it'll stand up like that on its own. And I also like that it's pet rated for fur and hair pickup because Oakley and Leo tend to shed a little bit. So as far as the accessories go on the Ryobi right here, we have all these right here. So we have this micro crevice tool, dust brush, crevice tool, mini motorized beater bar. You can just see it comes apart in those three sections. And then this kit right here, which I'll include a model number down below, this has the charging docking station where you can see that will hang on the wall right there. And then you can store all your tools right there. And there's a power cord, so you're gonna have it near an outlet. And right here, you see it has a vacuum maintenance tool and that will help pull the hair off the bars. And right there is a little cutter right there too. And three year limited warranty. All right, so we're gonna start showing these two head to head. And then I had some time today to show some of the accessories with the Ryobi. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to compare both of them, all the accessories, but we'll at least see how these two do in some pickups against each other. All right, the time is here for the head to head competition. So we have the vacuums in place. The Ryobi is closest to us. I'm putting down a row of sawdust. This is something I made with my chainsaw. So it's definitely more coarse, more thick than stuff you get from like your table saw or circular saw. And then a couple cupfuls of Cheerios. I'd say that's quite a bit. And then here we go, we have some fur from Oakley and Leo. We just brushed them and I'm trying to spread it out, but it's kind of clumpy. 
I think we have it pretty well evenly divided. And the Dyson is off to a strong start going forward. It picked up most of the Cheerios. And as I pulled back, it seemed to get all of them. There, I, there's a couple that it dragged back, but it picked them up. And now I'm just going through a little bit more and going forward and back and it picked it all up. So I tried to leave the same amount on the other side for the Ryobi to try to clean up. All right, so now we're gonna go through it with this. I'm trying to go at the same pace, the same speed going forward. And it seemed like it just left quite a few Cheerios going forward, but as I pull back, it picked them all up. That's impressive. Now we're gonna try going just a little bit slower and see if it picks up the Cheerios all the way on the first pass forward. Almost all of them, but once again, picked them all up on the way back. Oh, there is one, but it fell out, but it picked it up quite easy. All right, the next test is on some hard surface. So you can see the first row, turtles baked. Those are very similar to goldfish, but a little bit thicker, a little bigger. The middle row is crushed crackers, and the far left is oatmeal. So we're going first with the Ryobi. And it's going right through, going slow. And it looked like it picked up, from what I can see, everything going forward. And pulling back, it just for sure got everything. There may have been one piece or two that fell out, so I detach the stick and it has a nice angled end so it gets real close to the floor and in those inside corners right there and now the Dyson we're going to try this same thing try to go at the same speed and as you can see those turtle crackers are just too thick for it so it's just pushing them around and when I'm pushing that they are kind of clogging up everything else so I can't get the crackers or the oatmeal very well with that. So I tried going over it and pulling back on it, seeing if that would work. But the Dyson just sits a little bit lower to the ground, not allowing those thicker things to go through. So I detached the end and you can see that does a pretty good job vacuuming, but it isn't angled the same way as the Ryobi one is. So it doesn't get to the floor quite as well. So now we're gonna just try to finish the job with the Ryobi. You can see on this hard surface, it picked up all the oatmeal, the crackers, and the gold turtles. All right, I'm happy with that. And here's a quick look at the width, head to head, so you can see the Ryobi is just slightly wider. So now I just wanna show you a couple of the unique accessories that you can get with the Ryobi stick back. So I took the tube off, and right there, the yellow thing is called the micro crevice tool. And they're a bunch of little straws, so they're hollow and then they pull those little small particles through. So it works really well like for automotive reasons. So right up here on the windshield of the dash right there, you can see it can get way up in there. And then right here I have the mini motorized beater bar. And that's like a nice accessory for doing upholstery or seats. It has, you can see it spinning right there. So that definitely knocks all the dirt loose and sucks it up. So yeah, works really well as you can see right here. Getting it clean. So now that you've had a chance to see these two vacuums go head to head, is there a clear winner? Please put your comment down below which one you would go with. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps support the channel. That's it for now, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey, what do you guys think about those pet approved stick vacuums? Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. If you want to continue watching some cleaning videos that have to do with the home and the shop, I have a playlist right over here that I made for you. I'm gonna be adding to it as well too, so you might wanna subscribe if you haven't done so yet.